I want to show you some some pretty sh pretty interesting shortcuts for what we're trying to do in SolidWorks. One of the first things we want to do, I've got, like I said, I've got Adobe Reader. I've got the pr the file just to my to my right, so I can drag it back in. We're going to look at this part, this part here. Those are the dimensions. Let's go through the process of creating the part. Again, it's file new part. I have to give it a name. You just have to get it started. You'll have to give it a name when you save it. Wait for a couple seconds here for it to load. Okay, now we're in SolidWorks. So we're working on this particular part. It appears to me like this is the floor, so it's the sketch is done in the plan view or the top view. So we're going to go to sketch, pick the tab sketch, sketch. Pick the top view is where we're going to draw. I'm going to draw this object with the standard drawing tools. Notice that if I draw it horizontal, it stays horizontal. I get a yellow box with the with the line through it, that means it's horizontal. If I come up here and do vertical, it's locked in the vertical. So this line is going to be locked in a horizontal. So I'm going to draw the, just kind of scribble out the same shape. It doesn't have to be exact, it has to be similar. I'm going to draw all the regular lines to create the shape. Kind of an angled. And coming across. Notice I, it helps me out by getting right above the other point and I can finish the, the box out like that. Now once it's finished, um, as you can see this one's not horizontal. So I click on that line and make it horizontal or force it to be horizontal. Like I've said before, if you scroll, you can scroll in and out by using your wheel. If you scroll on one end of the page, it'll move it out of the drawing area. Holding control down will help you to pan. Sometimes you can't find it. If you can't find it, just double click the wheel and it'll come back into view. So control, wheel down, it'll pan. Shift, it'll zoom, but the wheel zooms itself. Once I get the object drawn, then my next task is to create the dimensions that I see on the drawing. So I do smart dimensions, and it doesn't dimension it. It's going to adjust the drawing to match. Sometimes it'll go out of skew, and you'll have to be careful of that. Second thing to note is that as I pick dimensioning, move the line around. Let me dimension this. It's 2.5. A lot of times I get started with the drawing and I forget to set my units. This is going to be critical in this class. Up here is where you set your units. Bring the pop down, options, go to document properties, tab up the top. Okay, then you go to units, set it inches, pound, and seconds. Click OK and just make sure I'm in the right units. Let's finish this drawing out. This is what? 2.0. This object here is 1.5. That is 0 0.5. Notice it threw this off. I can dimension that and actually put negative 0 0.5 and it'll throw it back into shape. And this piece is 0 0.5. Now, the thing I haven't dimensioned yet is this little piece, but according to the drawing, that piece is not dimensioned. So here's what I need to do. I, need to, I can dimension, put my arrow until it turns orange and click on that corner here, click on that corner, pick a point, and dimension it 3.5. Now, another thing that people do is they 
at times called dimensional line like this. Now if I dimension this, it's going to give me a problem. It's going to say, well, is it 3.5 or is it the sum of 0.5, 2.5, and 0.5 that make the length? It calls this overdriven or, or um, overdefined. Sketch is overdefined. So what I would suggest is that you not finish it out where it's defined by too many dimensions. Now we're going to go to the circles. Got two circles. You can draw the one circle. Come down here to radius. You have to get used to the fact that this circle with a line through it that means diameter. So this circle has a 0.5 inch diameter. Since this is asking for radius, it would be 0.25, half of the diameter. Again, I would do another circle. I would say that it's radius 0.25. Once I'm done drawing the two circles, I would also include a smart dimension. That way, in the future, I can edit those dimensions. Now to finish the drawing I have to get the circles in the right place. Notice I just scribbled them on the screen. So I smart dimension, holding it until it turns orange. Look at that one. Notice the dimension is directly between the two, but what if I move over it then becomes a dimension horizontal or vertical. This one happens to be vertical dimension from this corner to this corner vertical or horizontal that's also 1.0 here to here 0 0.0 That dimension is actually 1.25. Notice this one kinked. I actually wasn't, I was still in direct dimension mode, not in horizontal mode. So I'll need to delete that and redimension it. There, there, making sure that's 1.0. Now you can move dimension right, lines around so that they're more visible and clear all your dimensions are in, in a good place like that so once I get the drawing dimension is this I can go to features extrude and the extrusion depth is 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 so extrude it 0.75 click the check mark and I have the object. That's one way to draw this object. Let's look at a new way to draw the object. I'm going to go back to File, New, Part, another blank screen, and draw that same object. This time I'm going to use rectangles. I'm going to ask for a rectangle, click the top plane, um, Make sure I'm in the top plane. You got to double check this icon down here at the bottom. It'll tell you whether you're top or side. Every once in a while, I'll pick the wrong one and I'll have to rotate the drawing to get it straightened out. Let's um look at another triangle, a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the origin indicator. I'm going to draw another one, starting from the middle down, starting from that point down. And then I'm going to draw a line. I've got extra lines that I don't want. I could use this trim, which will cut out the lines I don't want. I'm going to click the trim and just draw a line where I don't want existing lines. I can pick that extra line. 
can complete the drawing by dragging the things together. Just another way to draw the same shape. And then I would go through the same process of dimensioning it. So I'm all the way done. When you start getting used to how it adjusts it, you'll probably find out it's easier to dimension it in a particular order so it doesn't get out of out of whack like it did before. And that's the same shape, pretty much done in the same, um, pretty much done a little bit faster, um, but you get the same result. Two different ways to do the same thing um, for this module two assignment. Thank you.